Yeah, <laughs> we'll sure just keep staring at this rainbow yeah. out there. The weather just. It can't get more interesting than mm -hmm. this, I feel like. This is a live picture uh, from outside. And, of course, you can see that rainbow there as we look down uh, the Willamette. So just a beautiful view, and that's because we've had a passing shower. And with these showers, occasionally we are seeing a few flakes of snow and some ice pellets mixing on in. Temperatures, though, way too warm for anything to stick. So we don't have to worry about that in the valley or the lower elevations. But certainly some downpours out there. And of course, a beautiful view of the rainbow. 46 right now in Portland. Here's a look at the radar, and you can see how showers have picked up in intensity across the metro. Most of it is now slipped to the east side of town, though, so we're starting to see some clearing back to the west and even some sunshine. Uh, Maywood Park, a little bit of light rain left for you. Vancouver, a little light rain, some heavier stuff pushing into Gresham and out towards Corbett as well. And then Lake Oswego, we have a little cell leaving your area, too. Uh, back to the west, uh, more showers developing along the coast range, so a little gap in, in the Action for now, so we'll enjoy some dry time probably for the next hour or so, and then we'll have to watch out for more showers to pop up as this active weather is just going to stick around. In fact, a lot more snow for the mountains, and we've already had a good foot and a half of it at least just within the last 24 hours. This is Mount Hood Meadows, and the snow has barely stopped there. Uh, it may slow down a little bit here and there tonight, but we're going to see probably five to ten more inches tonight, and maybe another five to ten more inches uh, between tomorrow and tomorrow night by the th time things wrap up tomorrow night. So lots of active weather to go. Winds are going to be picking up at the coast. Uh, not looking too bad out there right now. We're at 44 in Lincoln City from our Chinook winds camera there. But winds start to ramp up tomorrow morning, and by the time we get towards the lunch hour, and especially towards 4 and 5 o'clock, those winds are going to be whipping as the system approaches. We have high wind watches in effect until 6 p.m. tomorrow, and we can see gusts up near 65 miles an hour there. You get to the Cascade, it's highlighted in pink. Winter storm warnings in effect until 4 a.m. And that's where we're going to see those hefty snow totals. One to two feet of snow just over the next day and a half. And then as you take a wider view of what's happening, you can see this system is still with us. It's moving out. The next system gearing up to move in. And that is going to be the story of our week. System after system after system. And then it's going to be really tough to find that dry time. So this evening, uh, showers on and off for a lot of the night. Temperatures in the upper 30s. We will stay above freezing. Likely not seeing any snow. If we do see a few flakes mix in, uh, temperatures will just be too warm for them to stick. Tomorrow morning, uh, we'll have the chance for a few light rain showers around the morning, and then it just goes up from there. This is at 7 a.m. You can kind of see the moisture wrapping in and encasing the valley. 11 a.m., still talking rain, and then we go into the afternoon, and we just continue to see rain develop. We could pick up between half an inch and three quarters of an inch of rain just during the day tomorrow. It's going to be a wet day. The Cascades, all that just changes the snow. Snow levels will be a little higher, though. They'll be up around 25 to 3,000 feet, so a little bit better there. And then Wednesday arrives, and we'll have the chance for more rain on and off, but at least I think we'll find a little more dry time in between the showers. So if you're looking for dry time, there's a chance to find a little bit more of it Wednesday. Tomorrow, it's going to be tough to do. Rain for most of the day. Temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 40s as we head later into the afternoon. A windy and wet one for the coast, and then central and eastern Oregon gearing up for more snow there. And here's your seven-day forecast and temperatures in the mid to upper 40s the next couple of days. So we're trying to, to climb up with these numbers. Then we're back to the low 50s. Another potential uh, chance to find some dry time would be Friday. And then keep your fingers crossed for the first half of Saturday as we could be in between systems then. But for mm. the most part, it's looking very wet mm. for the rest of the week. And the rainbow is headed towards Gresham. There you go. <laughs> it's, go it's following the showers and the sunshine. So beautiful, <laughs> though. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah. Stay with us, everybody.